Hi friends, today I'm going to discuss the basic introduction of retrosynthetic analysis. It is a method to synthesize roots for different organic compounds. So it's a basic job and a job of an organic chemist to devise new synthetic methods for given compounds and these compounds can be used for any purpose for natural products or for making medicine pharmaceuticals solar cells any material you name it and in order to achieve this technique achieve this skill one must be good at doing retrosynthetic analysis it is a technique where we break the chemical bonds into small pieces small fragments using our logical disconnection approach and then we put synthones for them and then we use a backward technique and then we use the forward technique to rejoin them again so I will show you in a moment so I have selected these three molecules for today's lecture I will describe about these three molecules I will teach you how to do disconnection of different functional groups using different strategies so it's a skill you need to learn it and if you haven't subscribed my ch channel please do so put your comments below in this video and like and share and if you have any questions regarding organic chemistry please do ask your questions in the comments i will put another video to answer your questions and make sure this is a retrosynthetic analysis it's a very very important technique in order to control and command the organic chemistry if you want to really master organic chemistry you need to have great knowledge about reactions reaction mechanisms and name reactions and retrosynthetic analysis so retrosynthetic analysis is the last part but you have to be good at synthesis reaction mechanism name reactions and each and everything so i will try to put so many videos in this channel please keep watching this channel without wasting your time much about this let's start with the first example i have highlighted these molecules with different colors so first one is blue color that shows this is alcohol one is second one is alkene the third one is also alkene but it's a bicyclic compound so let's start with the retrosynthetic analysis of alcohol what i will do is this so we need to select an area where we can use a disconnection approach so let's say this is a carbon in which alcohol is connected we can disconnect it from here by using this curly arrow and this is the retrosynthetic arrow so what you will write is cc carbon carbon and this connection for this and this will be broken into two pieces and one will be electrophilic and one will be nucleophilic this is nucleophilic part we write it as Grignard reagent Grignard reagent is a name reaction it's used for cc carbon carbon bond making so then other part is this aldehyde so you can make aldehydes from alcohols as well if you want to do further retrosynthesis of this compound so aldehydes can be prepared from the oxidation of alcohols controlled oxidation of alcohols so we can use this arrow to further do analysis of this and we can convert this into alcohol and this is called FGI that is functional group interconversion so we converted aldehyde into alcohol so when we will do forward synthesis we will oxidize alcohol in a controlled manner to give aldehyde then we will join Grignard region with aldehyde to join these two parts and get to the product so the first step is to oxidize the alcohol into aldehyde using controlled oxidizing agent PCC PCC oxidation of alcohol into aldehyde then next is reaction of aldehyde with Grignard reagent this will give you this final product this is the target molecule you can get the target molecule by reaction of Grignard reagent with 
aldehyde. So this is how you do the retrosynthetic analysis of alcohol. Let's talk about another example that is alkene. So you bring the alkene here. So there are various methods of alcohol synthesis and disconnections, but this is one of the good approach. You can devise another way that is fine also. So let's talk about alkene. You can do number of possible reaction routes device for this molecule as well but I will use this method where I will use another name reaction that is Wittig reaction so we will disconnect this functional group from this position into two parts that is called CC disconnection carbon carbon disconnection and that is that represents Wittig reaction and we break this compound into two components one component becomes the carbonyl compound say acetone and the other part becomes the Wittig reagent so if you are in familiar with the Wittig, re Wittig reagent the Wittig reagent is a reagent named after an organic chemist Wittig who proposed that we can prepare alkenes from the carbonyl compounds including aldehydes and ketones using triphenylphosphine as a Wittig reagent with uh, alkyl bromide in it so you can put positive charge on this using this chemtra if you aren't familiar how to use this software I have already put video on my channel how to use chemdra software and you can learn about this software it's pretty easy Anyways, so this is a Wittig reagent and this is the carbonyl compound. In this case, this is ketone because this is carbonyl and these two are the methyl groups. So when you for do forward reaction, you connect these two compounds and you go into the forward direction. By the way, you can further do also the retrosynthetic analysis of this compound as well. You can convert Wittig triphenylphosphine into alkyl halide and then also also you can convert this into alcohol as well so this is called FGI because you are converting one functional group into another and also you can convert bromine into using the FGI strategy into alcohol so this is we are going backward make sure you know this is not a forward direction and this arrow is the backward arrow backward reaction so when you do the forward reaction what you will do is you will use PBr3 as a reagent to convert OH into Kegnard reagent uh, sorry alkyl halide and then you will use triphenylphosphine as a nucleophile to prepare this Kegnard reagent uh, so this is triphenylphosphine so you can convert bromine into this one and in the last step you can combine triphenylphosphine and ketone to get your target compound is simply write TM the last example is also alkene but I will show you a different method for this compound different synthetic strategy for the retrosynthetic analysis of this compound as this is a cyclic compound so we will choose a different strategy that is retro deals alder so we will write retro deals alder right so retro deals alder reaction so we will disconnect this compound from this area and this area so this will give you two components that is this ring and if you don't understand the mechanism of any of these reactions I'm happy to explain if you put your comments that you don't understand the mechanism of these reactions then I will put another video to explain the mechanism how deals are the reaction what is the mechanism of deals are the reaction what is the mechanism of Wittig reaction you know so that's it I mean this is a deal the reaction what you do is you combine these two without using any reagent or you can simply hit the reaction to get your target molecule alright the quick recap 
so we did a retrosynthetic of analysis of these three compounds alcohol alkene and a cyclic alkene and these are the forward uh, backward first we did backward reactions retrosynthetic line we disconnected we broke in these molecules into pieces smaller compounds then we rejoined them using forward reaction arrows and this is it i hope you liked it and if you have any questions feedback i can improve things let me know and thank you bye see you